extreme storms, hotter seasons. With a specialized degree in climate, he's pioneering the way we look at climate and how it affects our weather. Now, climate specialist Jeff Berardelli. In today's climate classroom, reliable thermometer records only date back to the 1800s, yet sometimes you'll see headlines like this in a study published yesterday, showing Greenland temperatures are warmer now than they've been in over a thousand years. So how can we know the climate thousands of years in the past, and is this knowledge reliable? The answer is in climate proxies like ice cores and tropical coral. Along the equator, about 1,200 miles south of Hawaii, on a place called Christmas Island, is where paleoclimatologist Kim Cobb peers into the distant past. I'm proud to say that the corals that I work with in the middle of the Pacific Ocean are as good, if not better, uh, than the temperature records from satellites. In order to understand the climate before modern instruments, scientists have to be crafty, uncovering clues laid down over time. Cobb's climate proxy of choice is found in layers of marine limestone. Corals actually grow very quickly. They grow about one centimeter a year, which is about a, a finger width, if you will. And this is an extremely detailed record of ocean temperatures. Corals build a calcium carbonate skeleton, and the oxygen in that calcium carbonate skeleton is laid down as a function of temperature. By analyzing the makeup of oxygen in layers of coral, Cobb can reconstruct a week-to-week -week record of ocean temperatures hundreds of years back. How can we be so sure that these records that we're getting from proxy data are accurate? We don't have to make a leap of faith to decide whether to trust a coral or not. And um, we actually use the very recent portion of coral skeleton that has been laid down over the last several decades. And we compare the record in the coral skeleton chemistry against the temperature record from satellites. This comparison allows Cobb to calibrate the chemistry of the coral to the climate at the time. It's a similar process for tree rings, where the width of each ring reveals how dry or wet a given year was. That's how we know last year's drought in the western U.S. was the worst in 1,200 years. And in the case of ice cores, scientists can peer back over a million years by drilling into glaciers and analyzing ancient bubbles of air trapped in the ice to see how atmospheric composition has changed. That's how we know carbon dioxide is 40% higher today than at any time in the last 800,000 years. It's not just one proxy that gets a vote into uh, how the climate has changed. It's hundreds, if not thousands, of proxy records that are brought together to ask what are their shared signals. And those shared signals reveal the toll human-caused pollution is taking on our planet. The proxies are pretty clear in helping us to understand that we are, of course, uh, under continued warming today. Uh, this warming has accelerated in recent decades, and we know that it's going to get much warmer going forward. And it's proxy data that enabled scientists to reconstruct this temperature record over the past 2,000 years. Uh, so next time you see a climate record that dates back before 1850, you'll know the magic behind it. For more Climate Classroom, visit WFLA.com.